So Jesus said, my father is greater than I. That means that Jesus is not Jehovah, right? Well, Jesus said that he was God, a God. Jesus said he was God, not a God. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was a God. Are you getting that from the uh, New World Translation? Is that the one you have there? Mm -hmm. Yes, this is the New World Translation of the Christian Greek Script. The best translation in existence. Well, most accurate. That's what the Watchtower said. The big question is whether or not. It, it was prepared by true. dedicated hands. I'm sure it was. I would challenge the presence of the dedicated mind. <laughs> you mean to tell me that you believe this translation which says, and the word was a God? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Jesus is a God? Well, it's obvious. Well, I read this in the Watchtower magazine way back in the early 1900 copies, and then all the way back in Russell's writing. So you have agreed with Russell from the very beginning, haven't you, that Jesus is a God? Yeah, well, Benjamin Wilson also said that, and he wasn't even a Jehovah's Witness. That's right. He was a Christadelphian. They denied the Trinity, too, so you had a bedfellow. <laughs> but the point is that John 1.1 1, 1 is saying the word was a God. That's what you're trying to tell us, right? Is that what the Watchtower says? Well, that's what the original says. And you believe that? Well, yeah. I happened to get hold of a copy of the Watchtower magazine for January 15, 1975, and it agrees with you. And it specifically says the word was a God, and it quotes John 1, so there's no problem whatsoever. Except that the March issue of the same Watchtower has changed and says that Jesus is God. Did you know that? No, they wouldn't do that. Well, <laughs> all right. Can I? We've been teaching that for a hundred years. I, well, I know, but can, would you like to look at, the, at this particular passage? It says right here, Also angels were God's representatives, and therefore humans spoke to them and of them as God. In view of such use of the word God, Oh, I, get, I understand that. Is the term not rightly applied to God's firstborn son? Surely. Well, who is God's firstborn son? Jesus. Then he can be called God. No. Well, that's God in a sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the problem is you've been telling us for a hundred years it's a God. Now it's God in a sense. Don't you think that that's a radical change from well, an organization that it says it speaks for Jehovah? Yeah. Huh? Did it say we took out the word A? Well, it says God, so they took you said use the word God and the word and the letter A is missing, obviously. Yeah, but they have it in quotation marks, so that that makes a little difference. In other words, we can't believe what they said. Oh, yeah, no, they, they don't mean that he is God, but he's God-like. He has uh, qualities of deity. Oh, I see. But in the same paragraph, they quote from Dr. C.F.D. Mool on an idiom book of New Testament Greek. Now, I'm not the scholar. This is Dr. Mool. They're quoting him. Quote, It is necessarily without the article, theos, not whole theos, inasmuch as it describes the nature of the word and does not identify his person. So that, that separates the God from the word. Yeah, but you forgot because the first it's the, sentence. It's not the God was the word. It was just God was the word. Let's look at the sentence. It there is no definite article. Right, and this is what I'm trying to point out. It is necessarily without, without the, the article, yeah. says Dr. Moore. So it's not, we're not talking, the word is not the God. Right. The word is God. Yeah, but you've been saying in the back of your New World Translation for years that the absence of the article makes it a God. You've taken Dr. Moore's position here and said that it's necessarily without the well, article. Well, doesn't Dr. Mandy agree with us when he translated that the word was divine? See, he, he, he didn't translate it that way. Dr. Goodspeed translated that the word was divine, and Dr. Manty translated that the word was deity. Deity. All right. Yeah, well, that... That's what I mean. He was a God. No, no. Dr. Mandy wrote a letter, which I happen to get hold of a copy of. you got a lot of things handy. Yeah, well, I try and keep up with you, you know. It's not easy. We don't... You, we have to compliment you. You're not the average Christian that we run into at the door. No. I would say from my experience with Jehovah's Witnesses, you're not the average Jehovah's Witness either. But, but the point that I'm trying to get across and I don't know whether I'm going to get it across or not, is that Dr. Manti says that the Watchtower organization, and I'm quoting him, are diabolical deceivers, close quote, and that they misquoted him, they quoted them out of context, 
and that you cannot translate it. The word was a God. It's impossible. Now, you know, I live in California, as you do, and uh, I just recently thought it might be a good idea to check out a Greek scholar who wasn't a Christian and wasn't a Trinitarian, so he couldn't possibly be prejudiced. And uh, we checked out a very... Well, we don't go to worldly authorities. We just go to dedicated Christians who are real Bible scholars. But if you don't go to world authorities, why is it that you quote them in the Watchtower magazine all the time? Well, so if you, you're going to quote them, I'm going to quote them. This is uh, Dr. Johnson, who holds his doctorate in Greek at the University of California, and commenting, I have a photostat of what he said, on John chapter 1, he says, in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. There is no justification whatsoever for translating Theos, Hain, Hologos, as the Word was a God. There is no syntactical parallel to Acts 28.6, where there is a statement in indirect discourse, John 1.1 1, 1 is direct. I am neither a Christian nor a Trinitarian. Close quote. And here's a professor of Greek with all the credentials, including a doctorate, and he says, you cannot translate it that way. Now, since you can't translate it that way, why do you do it? Well, if they took the word A out, right, then the light just got brighter. Mm-hmm. You mean if the Watchtower Society corrects itself on what they've that's been wrong just on the latest light. for 100 years, that's the latest light. This is the light. It shows what a good organization it is when they see how... They admit their errors. Right. But they are God's organization, and they're speaking for Jehovah, so Jehovah goofed. But, you know, God... Oh, no. no, no. God gently leads through the Holy Spirit, and now we can see... Through who? Th- through God's power. How can you get led by power? Well, God... you figure in a light socket, you'll get power, but you won't get led. <laughs> well, you can't get led by the wind. You can't get led by water. You can't get led by fire. You've got to be led by a person. Well, we just don't God. believe in the Trinity. The Holy Spirit is not God. Oh, well, now, in other words, we're not getting that. The Holy the... Spirit is God's power, His active force. It's just the only thing I could show you in the Bible that the Holy Spirit is called Jehovah God. What would you well, say? Well, it just doesn't say that. Mm-hmm. Supposing I could show it to you. Just supposing, if I could do it. <laughs> but the Holy Spirit is Jehovah God. Right. I never read that. So then, if I could show it to you, and you would believe it, it would have to be the authority well, show of the Bible. It to us. Okay. Acts chapter 5, verses 3 and 4. In Acts chapter 5, you have a very good discourse between Peter and somebody called Ananias. Acts 5, verses 3 and 4. If why had Satan filled up your heart to lie to the Holy Spirit and to keep back part of the price of the land? Notice he was lying to the Holy Spirit. Not to the Father, not to the Son. Mm -hmm. While it remained, was it not your own? After it was sold, was it not in your own power? Why have you conceived this thing in your heart? You have not lied to men, but to Jehovah God. It doesn't say Jehovah here. Well, of course it doesn't say that, but uh, in your kingdom interlinear translation, it says that. Because it identifies in Acts chapter 5, 3 and 4, the person as God. Well, I can explain this. Well, let's, let's look at it for a second here in your own translation so we're sure that you have said it. Acts 5, 3, and 4, and you state, Why has Satan emboldened you to play false to the Holy Spirit and to hold back secretly some of the price of the field? As long as it remained with you, did it not remain yours? After it was sold, did it not continue in your control? Why was it that you purposed such a deed in your heart? You have played false not to men, but to God. Now, that's your own New World translation. Mm -hmm. The word played false in the Greek on the other side of the page means to lie. You even translate it that way. To lie to the Spirit holy, to the Holy Spirit. And then it goes on to say, you have not lied to men, but to God. Your own Greek text on the left side tells you that you have lied, notice this please, to the God, definite article, so it is to Jehovah himself. Sure. The Holy Spirit comes from Jehovah. It's his power. How do you lie to a power? How do you lie to wind? How do you lie to fire? How do you lie... It was kind of representing him. 
He just lied, in other words, uh, Ananias just lied to the wind or to some force out there. Well, they wouldn't let themselves be led by this, this power, and they weren't doing the right thing. They did what they wanted to do, so they were going against God. But doesn't it say you have not lied to men, but to the God? Yeah. Then you're lying directly to Jehovah, mm -hmm. right? And it says, why has Satan yeah, filled your God. heart to lie to the Holy Spirit? Yeah. The Holy Spirit is Jehovah. Oh, that's his power. But that's not what Peter said. And you know, it's interesting. How did we get from John fourteen twenty eight? <laughs> My father is greater than I. But I'm just trying to show you that the father is not greater than the son. In fact, the father and the son are equal. John chapter 5. Read it in your Bible. Well, check it. Check it out. See if I'm right. If I'm wrong, I certainly want to be corrected. Because I want to tell you something. If the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society is God's organization, I want to be with them to the end. But if they're not God's organization, then we want to fight them to the death. Right? Right. What did you say? I didn't hear that. Right. right. We, want, we, want, we want what is right. 